Okay, so here we are where we were before. We have our turbulized sphere in the scene. You can see it moving around. Let's give it a few more frames again. And we want to go in and start talking about compound properties and exporting prop compounds and versioning and everything else you can do with compounds. So let's go right mouse button, go to compound properties again. First of all, we're named this correctly. We have a typo there, so T U needs another U there, turbulized object. We we'll give it a task, and this is where it gets to be located in the um, list of nodes here. So you have a nice list of all your nodes um, and task list. We'll just go here and give it a node deformation slash, and then we want to call this in the effects. And we, if it doesn't have an effects directory or folder, it will create one if you put one that doesn't currently exist. Under author, that would be me, or yeah, you can put whatever you want in there. Description, turbulize object, points, and the construction mode is current. You can put whatever mode you want. This were current fine in this case. Version tag, I'm not going to worry about that at this time. We just go here, version 1, hit OK. And then when we export this out, export compound, it will be export, it's going to overwrite the one I already created, that's fine. And it will save it, and now we'll see under the deformation, which we'll clear this here, so under tasks, deformation, effects, you'll see this turbulized object node. That means that we can go entirely new scene, file new scene, and it's now not saved with the scene, it's saved with the exercise preferences. So if we get a primitive polygon mesh torus, and we just make this a bunch of points, 25 by 50 or 24 by 50, it's fine. Bring our, go here, create an ice tree bring our turbulized object and just link it in to the port 1. Now we can see, just going to change the windows around a little bit here, so it's easier to see everything. Just tumble that down a bit. There we have our object being turbulized. Now, it's a little bit too much turbulization here. I want to adjust it. Well, this is actually a new one I made. So it looks like it made a new one because it's got my animated intensity here. So let's look at the wrong version. We'll quick switch it back to version 1. It has versioning built in. So you have our turbulence here, and we can see right now what it's doing. I want to adjust its intensity. So if I hit on the E here, it's going to show me inside, and we can go here to variance, and we can start adjusting inside here. That's kind of a pain. To do it here, we'd have to go in, OK, I want to make this 0.2. You know, you'd have to go in each time and you'd have to go out of it, and then you'd have to see how it looks, and it's just a pain. So what we're going to do is go back into here and make it so there's a single output value. We could just link in variance here by going from export input to variance, and now when we go out, we can now have a variance. So it's a little bit easier. We can see now the variance. It's really three numbers. It'd be much easier if I just had a single number to work with. So... If we click on here again, we want to look at the different number types you have. Well, right now a yellow means vector. Oops, didn't want that. Vector is like XYZ, RGB, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. It's three numbers. We want a single number. A single number is called a scalar. Scalar is like a slider, 0 to 1, point 0.1, you know, any number that's not a, a vector is three numbers, a set of three numbers. If we go to the tool, we can actually see on the math nodes, you can see some of these, and you'll be able to see probably here, you know, all the different basic math nodes, and it's under, I think, constants, actually not math node, it's a scalar, these are the different number types, so there's our scalar zero. Now to bring the zero, we can't connect it into variance, it just doesn't let us because different kind of numbers. This is a vector, so we need a conversion node. We want to convert from scalar to vector. 
So we see scalar to 3D vector, because this is actually a 3D vector. We bring the vector here into the variance. It doesn't hook in, I just have to unhook this quickly. So you can unhook one of these very easily, but actually, no, we should do it. So it's got the expose input. I'm just going to undo that just by remove expose parameter, link that in to variance. And then the zero number, just link it into these three, X, Y, and Z, just by clicking them in one at a time. I'm just going to rearrange the graph slightly so it's a little bit cleaner to look at. And then this export output will go into here value. We can change that value just to a small value, maybe 0.4 for a default value. And we'll change it from value to intensity. We can rename these by right mouse button, hitting rename give a different name, intensity. Intensity. And then the animated parameter, I'd like that as well. So just drag from expose input to animated so we can have the animation on and off. If we go out here, we can now see it has intensity and anima animated. If we hit play, we can see that we can adjust the intensity. Okay, I'll give it a few more frames to work with. So we can see what's happening. Hit play. We can adjust the intensity up and down. We can turn the animation on and adjust the intensity without animation as well. So pretty happy with this so far. It's working roughly the way I want it to work. And I want to export that out. If we go here, right mouse button, compound properties, we can now give us a new version number. 1.1. We can say what I've changed in here. So turbulence points, you know, with value and nation options. Because it's 1.1, when we hit OK, a little star appears. So it's been edited. Now we just export that out. Export compounds. The export is 1.1. It's OK. It's going to overwrite the one I did earlier when testing. And now if we go to compound properties, we can see turbulize with value. It's, oh no, I want to see the old one. Go to version. You can see version 1 here. We can go to properties. You can see it has different description. And OK, so you can see here we can switch the versions as however we want to, go between them, see what's what, and everything is working great. If we create a new object, make a, a grid this time, leave it small but lots of points, it's just, just lots of points just so we can see the effects clearly. Let's turn the main grid off here. I guess the grid was off. Oops, making extra grids here, and I'm not. Okay, let's move this one out to the side. Create an ice tree on it. Find our task deformation. Effects, turbulence object. Bring that in. Link it on. Hit play. And there we are. There's our effects. We've got a little squiggly kind of very bad ocean effect. But this is really talking about compounds and how they work and the settings you can use and the version of compounds. You can also take a compound. You can, as you saw, we edited it and added extra nodes inside the compound. You've got the expose input and you've also got output. So you can actually have multiple outputs as well. So if you wanted some more outputs, same idea. You can just drag in and give these extra outputs so you can output the value if you wanted to. And then when you close that down, you'll see it has a value output as well. Compounds can be saved out. They can also be exploded. So you can go here, look at the compound, and you can go compound, explode compound, and that just breaks it apart back to its original nodes. So you can see the original nodes if you want to. And that's our overview of compounds.